Hi, friend. So when I heard that President Biden nominated Neera Thandan, an Indian woman, to head the Office of Management and Budget, I thought to myself immediately, what is the Office of Management and Budget? And before you go on Twitter and roast me, just wait, remember I'm Canadian, so I don't know much about these politics. In Canada, we have minister positions. What, what are those? I have no clue. Also, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I know everyone says Neera Tandon. I feel in my soul it's Thundan, so that's what you're getting. Thundan! Now, obviously, as a South Asian woman, I love seeing representation at the highest level of government. But here's the thing, she doesn't just hold distinction as being Biden's only cabinet level South Asian nominee, minus Kamala Auntie, of course. She also holds the distinction of being Biden's nominee who faced such criticism that she had to withdraw her nomination. And without Neera under consideration, the only remaining cabinet level nominees that seem to be facing a serious confirmation hurdle are a Native American woman and a Latinx man. Now, I'm no Sherlock Holmes here, but do, do I see a pattern? Well, let's see who they're replacing. Huh, okay, and they had no trouble getting confirmed. Okay, go back to the first three. Huh, okay, and they're facing extra obstacles and screening. Huh, but these ones got through just fine. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. But it does look like a Maroon 5 concert. And here's the thing, those that opposed Neera Thundan didn't even pretend to care about her qualifications or her policy because she's very qualified. So why did they oppose her? Good question, her tweets. So let's take a look at one of these very problematic tweets that since Neera has deleted. Trump just called a black woman a dog and about 80% of the GOP don't think he's racist. The whole party needs to be defeated in November. Makes sense to me. So let me get this straight. The thing she did wrong was call a racist guy racist? Are we just getting in trouble for facts these days? Am I gonna get canceled for saying a guy with a barbed wire tattoo likes Ed Hardy? So mean tweets don't qualify you to be a budget director, but they do qualify you to be the president of the United States? Over the past four years, Trump has tweeted vile and derogatory things, and it's these same Republicans in Congress during that time that claimed they never saw it, or quite simply, they didn't care. Oh, now do you know how to use Twitter? And trust me, I don't like saying our previous president's name either, and I heard that if you say it three times, he shows up and incites a riot. And I feel the need to say it's not just Republicans who are in the wrong here. Democrat Joe Manchin opposed Neera even though he voted to confirm Jess Sessions' racist face. I mean, at least Neera is lucky that Gamala was there presiding over the Senate. Everyone needs that other person of color in the room when there's some dumb racism going on so they can make eye contact and just communicate. Are you saying that? Can you believe these people think we're incompetent? Yeah, these idiots probably think Masala's a Star Wars character. Mm. The truth is that society gives way more passes to white men than to minorities. So sorry for calling it exactly like it is. Don't at me. Actually, you know what? Go ahead because brown women apparently are not allowed to tweet. I hope you're enjoying season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. If you're not sick of this face yet, go ahead and click subscribe right over there. Check out more clips just like this one right over there. More importantly, have a great day.